Hello everybody, 2019 is here, and so is StarCraft 2. We're starting off the brand new year uh, with the WCS Winter Circuit. So this is going to start off similarly to 2018 did with Leipzig with an online bracket format for group stages, and then moving on to a offline playoff bracket later on. It's called WCS Winter, so it's a little bit different. We're naming things after seasons instead of places, but you get the idea. We're kicking off StarCraft II in 2019. There are two regions competing in the WCS circuit, so nothing changing there, but what might surprise you are the regions that are participating. It says Europe and America, but the Americas region does incorporate regions like uh, Southeast Asia, Japan, China, and Oceania. So there's a little bit of more of a mixture there, not just America. Of course, it does uh, include the Americas region uh, of Latin America. And then, of course, I guess we're including Canada. We let them play uh, there as well. Uh, so this is actually really interesting, really exciting. A lot of brand new faces coming. So let's go ahead and start off by talking about the players who qualified for the Europe bracket for WCS Winter. Starting off, you can see there in Group A, uh, it's Euthermal, Bly, Rail, and Goblin. Uh, I would say that just going group by group here, Euthermal and Bly, uh, I think, are the clear favorites. Uh, comparatively, they have advanced farthest and more consistently than Rail and Goblin. But Goblin is a super, super uh, hyped up, very young player, 16 or 17, I forget exactly which. And he showed a lot of potential, but has yet to prove that potential offline. Rail is a pretty solid Russian uh, Protoss player. But Bly and Euthermal are the big names there. I'm expecting both of them to top their group. All of these groups are organized by seeding, and so you will expect the top two players to be maybe a little bit more likely to advance and so instead of going through each individual matchup from now on I want to go ahead and highlight maybe some upset potential if you look at group B I think that should actually play out pretty much uh, right down the line there with maybe mana a small chance to upset hero marine big Gabe's looking pretty strong this year though so I'm excited to see uh, their matchup and then shadow and Skelius possible upsets but I would say that that would be uh, just that an upset in Group C, we've got Elazer, Harstum, Starbuck, and Braddock. Always love to see Braddock, the old, old, old school StarCraft Brood War into StarCraft II player. Uh, but once again, still has yet to prove himself against Titans like Elazer uh, and Harstum. Starbuck could be an upset, but I don't know really what to expect out of him against that field. And then Group D is Lambo, Denver, Hellraiser, and Gerald. Uh, and I have not seen a whole lot of games of Gerald, but Hellraiser is solidly second or third in a lot of his groups. He has qualified in a lot, uh, or qualified out of group stages at least once before that I can remember. So maybe he can do that, but Lambo certainly a uh, favor to get out in first place in Denver, uh, probably a close second. Now, moving on to the other four groups, it's a Group E, and that includes Nurchio, Petit Drogo, Cass, and Kung Fu Banda. Now, I have seen Kung Fu Banda play before, and I don't know exactly what to expect against this group, but I uh, would expect him and Cass to be underdogs. Cass can have really strong performances, but uh, Nurchio and Petit Drogo are really solid fixtures uh, of the round of 16 in many WCS circuit uh, events, so I'm expecting both of them to get out. In group F, it's Rainer, DNS, Soul, and Marine Lord. And this is one of the first groups that you could actually see quite a bit of variance. Obviously, there's a ton of hype built around Rainer. After titanic performance in 2018, he's finally old enough to compete in WCS uh, circuit events, and he is dominating them. Honestly, one of the closest series against uh, our Lord and Savior, Serral, uh, last year was his battle in the finals against Razor, uh, or Rainer uh, in the WCS circuit. So you really have to expect great things from this kid. DNS, fixture of the French scene. If you watch any of the O Gaming TV content, he is constantly winning a lot of their uh, underdog cups, if you want to look at it that way. And then Sol, uh, super solid, very underrated Polish player. I'm expecting to see uh, do very well this season. And Marine Lord coming back to us after leaving for other esports, and now returning in Group F. I'm excited to see what he looks like after coming back after a little bit of a break. And then Group G, Serral, champion of the world. In first place in that group, I think you have to lock that one in as guaranteed. Namshar Ziggy, that could kind of go either way. Ziggy has shown some surprisingly strong performances, but Namshar, you just expect to see this guy in maybe round of eights where he has made quite a few appearances in the WCS circuit. And then Ziggy, of course, and Soul Spirit kind of fighting for that top of the underdogs category uh, in group G. 
And then the final group of WCS Winter Europe is Showtime, Zanster, Sort of, and Hate Me. Hate Me's got his hands full with a lot of WCS Circuit veterans. Showtime, of course, after a dominant 2018, comes back 2019 looking just as good as ever. So even though the patches have changed slightly, I don't think Showtime has... And you should expect to see him battling it out against the Swedes. Zanster and sort of uh, got a chance to hang out with these guys quite a bit as they trained and practiced out here in Korea. And got to say, I don't know who to predict. Maybe Zanster, maybe sort of, I don't know. But it's going to be exciting to see who comes out first in the last group of WCS Winter Europe. So now let's move over to the Americas region. And like I said earlier, this actually does include quite a few regions. So you're going to see a lot of flags here. So practice up on your geography. It's going to be a bumpy ride. We've got Special, Tudming, Eric, and M. Canning topping things out in Group A. Of course, Special, round of four is uh, kind of the least that you expect to see from him uh, with pot potential finals finishes uh, if this season, I don't know what form he's in because he has had some surprising, uh, surprisingly uh, dominant and surprisingly underwhelming uh, finishes. So we'll start things out by finishing or by figuring out where he is. For Tudming, man, I don't know what to expect from the rest of the three players in this group, Eric and M. Canning included. M. Canning, I'm really excited to see him qualify because, of course, he's uh, you've been streaming, been growing a lot, and uh, it's exciting to see him pay off in a big tournament. But uh, we haven't really seen him advance much farther than the round of 32 in offline uh, WCS circuit events. So I'm pulling for uh, my American homeboy. And then, of course, Eric, kind of a really up-and-coming LATAM player from Brazil. I don't know how he's going to fare against Tudming, who's a very old-school player, but may not be on top of his game for this tournament. Although he did qualify, so there's only so much you can say there. And then Group B is Scarlet Expect. Epic and Peely Peely. Now, Peely Peely had a very interesting tweet where he said, hey, can I play in this tournament and take some free money? Uh, this is a guy that's been going to school in America and has crushed it both in school and now, now that he's graduated, he is coming back to StarCraft 2 to take some free money. We'll see. It's a rough road to travel. And if he can take out either Epic or Expect, then he'll advance out of Group B. Now, I think Epic, uh, a little bit of hype behind this guy after some strong performances at offline tournaments in uh, North America that are outside the WCS circuit. But within it, we still have yet to see him advance out of a big group. And with Scarlet and Expect, two very strong players there, it's going to be a rough ride. Scarlet, of course, a favorite to top the group and Expect probably a close second. But we'll see what happens in the bottom three of that group B. Now, moving on to group C, we've got Kelezer, Cham, Demi, and Vindicta. Big fan of Demi, got a chance to hang out with him when he was training out here in Korea, and he has been growing a lot. 28, 20, 2019 is a big proving uh, ground for him to show that he can compete, really put India on the map as a StarCraft II region, not that he hasn't done that already. And then, of course, Vindicta, really high ma uh, Grandmasters player, but we haven't really seen uh, him qualify offline for, or for many offline tournaments, and advancing, of course, another story. When you have the Titans! The Titans of Lat America, Kelezer and Cham. These guys are ridiculous. Kelezer, I mean, you see him in every single WCS stop. If he doesn't qualify, it's insane because he's so good. Definitely one of the best Terran players in the world right now. And of course, Cham really representing his group, uh, second or third in Copa America every time you get a chance to watch it. So very exciting to see him there in Group C. And of course, Group D is Neeb, Go Go Joey, Rex, and Jim Rising. I'm not sure I agree with the order of these groupings or maybe the flags there. Of course, Jim Rising representing America. And at the bottom, I don't know. This guy's really, really strong. He looked good in the Casters Invitational. Uh, and whether or not you want to discount those results, he's also just been looking very good um, overall. I'm expecting an outstanding 2019 for this guy. So we'll see what he has to offer. For Go Go Joey, uh, I... I've seen this guy compete so much within his region, and actually against a lot of Korean players and things like Alimo League, but I don't know how he's going to do against some up-and-coming talent. When you look at guys like Rex, who's also been training super hard out there, I think Rex and Expect in Group B could actually be the Taiwanese players that give us a little bit of excitement like Haz did when he uh, had this crazy, crazy run in WCS last year. So um, expect a lot out of, uh, out of uh, them. And maybe a lot out of Gogo -Go Joey, who will represent his region here in WCS Winter in Group D. Now, of course, moving on to the second uh, group of groups in WCS America, starting off with Group E. 
Time, Probe, Future, and Disk. And this had anything could happen here. Time has shown that he's a very strong, if not the best Chinese player out there right now. And so that's why they put him up at the top because of his standings and his performance from 2018. But this is maybe the year of future. This guy crushed Cheezadelphia, one of the biggest non-WCS circuit events in North America, and is just skyrocketing. He is so, so talented, and I'm expecting to see him really, really fight for those top two spots, along with Probe, who is coming back over to compete from Australia, uh, and I really got to, uh, well, from Oceania. I got to say the, the name of the region, not just the name of their country, uh, because I can't zoom in enough to see the star, and then I, I, rep I say that a Kiwi is from Australia, so I'm just going to say the Oceanic region. There we go. <laughs> no more mistakes here. Um, I, I want to see a sick battle there between the bottom three uh, players, and even time really does need to prove himself in uh, Group E as well. Moving on to Group F, Masa, Jon Snow, Milmica, and Astrea. Now, Astrea was the kind of right on the border, thought he didn't qualify. Uh, from the latter qualifiers for WCS Winter, and just barely snuck in after a competitive ruling. So this guy has really got to be counting his lucky charms, or lucky stars, I guess, uh, for being in this tournament at all. And so now that he's got the second lease on life, I'm excited to see if he could take out WCS Circuit veterans like Jon Snow. Mio Micah, of course, representing Vietnam here, I think as the sole representative in WCS Winter, has a lot to prove, but he has been steadily improving uh, in 2018, so maybe 2019 is his year. And then, of course, Masa up there at the top. This, is this guy is constantly uh, taking games and series off of top, top, top WCS uh, Circuit players, so I'm expecting to see him kind of live up to the seeding there at the top of Group F. And then in Group G, we've got Seether, from Down Under, TLO, Silky, and Coffee. Now, uh, from Silky, I was very impressed, not only by his offline outside of WCS Circuit events last year, but also from the how close he came from really, really, really big upsets last year. For TLO, of course, uh, Dr. Dario has uh, learned a lot from his games versus uh uh, from Alpha Star, I think was the AI, and so I'm expecting to see maybe him level up over Seether, but of course Seether, the uh, the titan of his region, definitely uh, deserves to be in that top seat. And of course, Coffee from China, I haven't watched a lot of games of this guy, I don't know what to expect, there's always that chance for upsets. And then in Group H, we have our Taiwanese savior, Haz, who crushed last year, and we're expecting to see a lot more shenanigans, get ready. For some cannons. That's all I got to say. It's going to be an exciting Group H, of course, with Puck, Firefly, and Cyark. Now, Cyark is the sole representative of Japan and the first Japanese representative in the WCS circuit. It's so exciting to see this guy qualify. He did it after, I think, eight or ten hours playing through the qualifiers. It was so late at night. He played the IEM qualifiers immediately after this. He's been grinding super hard, and along with Vice Ravana, is with the top one or top two Japanese StarCraft II players and he's finally qualified. He was so happy on Twitter. I'm really excited to see if he can put Japan further on the map, advancing out of Group H, but he's got some tough competition there in Puck, who's been grinding away at that North American ladder, and Firefly, player once again, uh, like Coffee, uh, from China that I don't know what to expect from. It's going to be an exciting group there in Americas, and it's going to be brought to you by these fine people. It's going to be Fear Dragon, Zombie Grub, Nathanius, and In Control, for the WCS Winter Americas and Europe broadcast. Of course, fantastic uh, casters and people that I hope you'll enjoy watching. You can watch WCS Winter in uh, f how many languages? I think it's eight languages. And of course, you can do all of that by visiting twitch.tv slash StarCraft and then looking at the additional language options uh, there. If you want an additional way to follow WCS Winter, you can, of course, do that by downloading the Blizzard Esports app on the iOS and Android stores. You can do that to keep up with all of WCS Winter and all Blizzard Esports. Of course, go take a look at that. WCS Winter is going to be very exciting. I hope you've enjoyed this recap of the groups, or at least a brief overview. If you're wondering when you can watch this, right now. It's going on on twitch.tv slash StarCraft, and of course, all the other extra language channels. So make sure to head on over there and watch the entire tournament, which I'm sure will be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. See you back for more looks at WCS Winter.